Hey guys, it's Tom from Something RS here, and I apologise in advance for any background noise you might hear. That would be James messing around on my laptop behind me. But anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to make money by killing green dragons, and I'm going to be using a melee setup, and I'll also be showing you a lower risk uh, sort of melee setup as well, and as well as a range method you could use if you're a range pure or something like that. So what I'm wearing at the minute is high prayer gear because I'm going to be using protect from melee and you'll notice that I don't have any prayer potions on me because with 78 prayer and decent stats uh, you won't really need any prayer potions and this prayer gear should pretty much get you through it. And I've also got the reverence aura as well not totally necessary but if you've got lower prayer it might be worth considering getting because it reduces the rate at which your prayer is drained uh, I've got the helm of yet is not uh, you might want to use a rune helm if you don't have that or just something with a good defense uh, I've got the amulet of fury obviously if you don't want to risk that much in the wilderness then you might want to take a glory instead and that could also give you a quick uh, banking method of teleporting back to Edgeville which is nearby. Uh, I've got a skill cape which has good prayer bonus because it's trimmed and if you don't have this then you could use something like an obsidian cape or just if you're going to use a range method you could use the Ava's accumulator. I've got the proselyte prayer gear for the high prayer bonus. Uh, I've also got a dragonfire shield Obviously this is necessary for killing dragons. If you don't have the dragonfire shield then you can use the anti-fire uh, dragon shield. I'm also using a whip. Um, green dragons are weak to stab uh, attack styles and the whip does not have a stab. So if you have a stab weapon and you might want to use that but because the whip has a high slash bonus I pretty much just don't really care so I'm using dragon boots for the strength bonus as well uh, berserker ring for the strength bonus you might want to use an archer's ring if you're ranging ring of life just in case you don't trust yourself to be able to eat properly uh, you could also use a ring of wealth if you want to try and get some other drops and I'm using the barrow glove as well uh, just use whatever you can in this slot doesn't really matter too much. Uh, my inventory, I've got a dragon dagger for the special to try and speed things up a bit and obviously the poison does a bit of damage. Um, I don't need a lot of food because I'm using prayer. Uh, the only reason I'm bringing food is because of the uh, dragon fire which will still do damage to you. Um, and I'm also using a Varrock teleport tablet and if you bring a glory to teleport to Edgeville, then you might not need this. I, j I just use it because of the route that I use, which I'll show you right now. So, I bring a terror bird familiar to store some dragon bones and uh, hides. It'll just speed up the process a bit. If you don't have access to a beast of burden, then don't worry, you're not really missing out too much. It'll just take you longer to make as much money. With this method, you can make up to about 500k an hour, maybe even more if you're quick. Each run, you'll kill about 19 dragons if you're using a beast of burden. If not, you'll kill about 13, so use that to figure out how much you'll make with the current prices. I'm not going to say what the current prices are because it'll just become outdated really quick. So yeah, and now I'm going to show you my route and ways of getting there and what I do to come back and bank etc. And some other things I forgot to mention, if you don't want to go for a prayer bonus uh, setup, you could use just really high defense bonus gear such as uh, Verax Helm. Torag's body, or you could use a fire cape if you don't want to use the uh, trim's skill cape. And if you're going to use a range method, don't use the dragon fire shield because if you look at the stats right here, it gives you a minus five range attack bonus. And the normal anti 
dragon fire shield does not have this. From Varrock Square you want to go east and if you're between trips you should use the bank there and then head north. Use the prayer altar that I just ran past if you want and then keep heading north until you cross over the wilderness wall and then head northwest until about level 9 wilderness until you come to the rift. Once you're at the rift go down, head north and go through the portal. Once you're here, if you're using the same method that I am, you'll want to stick on Protect from Melee and just start whacking away at the dragons. Just ignore any baby black dragons because they're just completely worthless to be honest. Obviously pick up the green dragon hides in the dragon bones and only pick up objects that are worth more than them, such as ranars, other kinds of herbs, and maybe some rune drops if you get any. And now I'm going to show you the range method, courtesy of James. So as you might be able to see here, James is wearing armadil, which is a very expensive setup. You could use dragon hide if you don't have that. And he has 97 range, so he's able to kill them quite quickly. Obviously if your range level's not as high as that, then you won't kill them as fast, but it does seem to be quite an efficient method. If you've got 55 Slayer, you should use Broad Bolts because they are very good and cheap. But if not, then you could use Mithril Bolts Plus. So once you've finished an inventory, you should teleport back to Varrock and go to the East Bank or the West Bank if you want. And then just repeat the process again. I hope this guy's been useful and I'll see you guys in the next video.